So um, here we have a system of linear equations in three variables. It is the same, the process is the same as a system of equations in two variables, but we just have additional work to do. Um, so if two lines are parallel and we are trying to find the solution to that system, uh, we know parallel lines do not intersect and we will not have a solution. So in a similar manner, if we have three variables, then we're talking about planes, so flat planes of this sort. And if they are parallel to each other, that those will not intersect. So we will not have a solution. And if they intersect well, in other words, all three planes intersect exactly in one point, which would only happen if they are at right angles. So that is the one solution we would have. So all three of them have to intersect, not just two. But if you look at the third picture, so we have um, the planes intersecting, but they sort of pass through and you could have infinitely many points of intersection there. So it would have infinite solutions. So the last one, of course, is consistent. The one solution is consistent, but the first one is not consistent. So how do we solve? So the process is to eliminate, then substitute. And that is the best way to go about it. So we eliminate um, the first variable And let's pick an easy one. It looks like if I pick the first two equations, then I could eliminate y. Simply by adding. So I would have x plus x, 2x. z plus 4z would be 5z negative 2 plus 14 would get 12. So now you have to pick two different equations and get rid of the same variable. which in this case would be the variable y. So I'm going to pick the second and the third equation. And I'm going to simply add. So the y's would go away. So x plus 5x would be 6x, 4z plus 5z would, sorry, z would be 5z, and 14 plus minus 18 is minus 4. Now, we have that equation, that equation, we have to combine them and eliminate the next variable. It seems like the z variable would be the easier one to eliminate. So... If I subtracted those two equations, those two would go away. 2x minus 6x is negative 4x. 12 minus of minus 4 would be 12 plus 4, I get 16. And I divide by negative 4, I'd end up getting 16 over negative 4, which is um, 4. Now we have to substitute back. So I'm going to take that 4 and plug it in one of the two equations involving the variables x and z. Um, so plug in 
x is equal to 4 and 2x plus 5z equals 12. So you have 2 times 4 plus 5z equals 12. 5z would equal 12 minus 8. 5z would equal 4, which would imply z equals 4 over 5. Now that we have found uh, the solution to x and the solution to z, we could take those two values and plug it in one of the three equations. Um, it doesn't matter which one you pick, but it's always better to go for something that is easy. I'm going to go for the first one. x plus y plus z would equal negative 2. We have x is equal to 4, y is what we need to find, and z is 4 over 5, equals negative 2. Um, I have y plus 4 plus 4 over 5 equals negative 2. I have to combine the two terms 4 and 4 over 5 by finding the common denominator. which would imply y plus 24 over 5 equals negative 2. y would equal negative 2, negative 24 over 5. Take the common denominator and combine negative 10 over 5. And negative 24 over 5 we end up getting negative 34 over 5. So if we want to do the substitution method, we can. I personally find using the elimination method, elimination followed by substitution, to be an easier approach. So here we have three equations, and one of them is already in terms of y and z. So it is better if we pick that equation and that equation and eliminate x. So we have x plus 3y plus 5z equals 20. 3x minus 2y plus 9z equals 36. I want to eliminate x, so I have to multiply that equation by 3 on both sides. So I would have 3x plus 9y plus 15z equals 60. 3x minus 2y plus 9z equals 36. I subtract. The x's would go away. 9y minus of minus 2y would be 11y. 15z minus 9z would be 6 z and 60 minus 36 would be 24 and i'm eliminating y because i have an equation which is in terms of I'm sorry i'm eliminating x because i have an equation in terms of y and z already so now i have a system in two variables And I'd like to eliminate z. So I'm going to multiply by 4 on both sides. So we have 11y plus 6z equals 24. 4y. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd rather multiply by um, 11 on both sides. I thought it was a 16. Um, so 11y minus 44z equals uh, negative 176. 
and I subtract. So those two would go away. 6z minus 44z would be <coughs> 50z. And that would equal to 200, which would imply z is 200 over 5. So the value of the variable z is 4. I'm going to take one of the, the, the value that we found and plug it in one of the two equations in terms of y and z. So that'll be the substitution part. So y minus 4z is minus 16. I know that y is 4, so negative 4 times 4 equals minus 16. Y minus 16 would equal minus 16. Y would equal to minus 16 plus 16, which would imply Y is zero. So we have Z to be four, Y to be zero, we can find X. And the easy equation to plug in would be the first equation, at least in my opinion. So X plus 3y plus 5z equals 20. x plus 3 times 0 plus 5 times 4 equals 20. x plus 0 plus 20 would equal 20. x would equal 20 minus 20. So x is simply 0. So what we have here is a word problem and our objective is to translate the word problem um, to a system of linear equations and we try to find um, the solution that we need. So a pizza shop delivered 21 pepperoni pizzas to a college on the first night of final exam. The total cost of pizzas was 220. A small pizza costs $4 and contains two ounces of pepperoni. A medium pizza costs $8 and contains nine ounces of pepperoni. A large pizza contains or costs $16 and contains 14 ounces of pepperoni. The owner of the pizza shop used 12 pounds, seven ounces of pepperoni to make 21 pizzas. How many pizzas of each side were delivered, of each size? So let's start by saying So in total, we made 21 pizzas. So X plus Y plus Z would equal 21 because the pizza shop delivered 21 pepperoni pizzas and The number of small pizzas would be x, the number of medium would be y, the number of large would be z. The next bit of information that we have is um, the cost. It cost about $220. So the 21 pizzas would be... or would have used nine ounces of pepperoni for the medium one and uh, the small one 
has two ounces of pepperoni and the large one has 14. If we add all of them together, we would have um, 12 pounds and seven ounces of pepperoni. So small pizza contains two ounces. So two times X medium pizza contains nine ounces, nine times Y large pizza contains 14 ounces, 14 times Z would equal 20, 12 pounds and seven ounces. A pound has 16 ounces, so 192 plus seven ounces. So the total amount would be 199 ounces. So we wrote the first equation using the number of pizzas. We wrote the second equation using the quantity of pepperoni. And we are going to write the last equation using the cost. So the total cost of the pizzas was $220. And we know a small pizza costs $4. So 4 times X a medium pizza costs $8. So we have 8 times Y. A large pizza costs sixteen dollars. So sixteen times that would equal the total price of two hundred and twenty. Now um, we want to simplify this. So before I get to that, how did we get the last equation? We translated the last equation using the cost of pizzas. So if I picked the second and the third equation, I can eliminate x easily. So I'm going to multiply the second equation by 2 on both sides. 4x plus 18y plus 28z would equal 398. 4x plus 8y plus 16z would equal 220. I subtract the two. 18y minus 8y would be 10y. 28z minus 16z would be 12z, 398 minus 220 would be 178. So that is our first equation. Now I'm going to make use of the first two equations and eliminate x again. Keep in mind you have to eliminate the same variable you eliminated in the first step. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2 on both sides. And I'm going to make use of the second equation. I'm going to subtract, so 2x minus 2x would go away, 2y minus 9y is 7y, 2z minus or negative 7y, 2z minus 14z would be negative 12z, and 21 minus 199 would be negative 178. And if I 
multiply by negative on both sides, I have 7y plus 12z equals 178. So those are the two equations that we have. Now, we have to eliminate one variable between those two equations to solve for the other variable. So I am going to eliminate z because it's easy. I subtract, those two would go away. That would go away. 10 minus 7y is 3y. 3y is 0, which would imply y is 0. We take the value of y and plug it in one of the two equations. I'm going to go for that one. So 7 times 0 plus 12z would equal 178. 12z would equal 178 z would equal 178 divided by 12 and that would equal to 14. And lastly, so we found z to be 14, y to be 0. We take the, those two values and plug it in the first equation because that seems easy to me. So we have x plus y plus z to be equal to 21 and x here would be the variable we are trying to find y is 0 z is 14 so x would be 21 minus 14 which would imply x is 7 so what is our conclusion the number of small pizzas that were sold is 7 number of medium pizzas none number of large pizzas 14 and <clears throat> if we plug in these values in every single equation we have 14 plus 0 plus 7 equals 21 and if you plug in the values in the second equation, the amount of pepperoni would equal to 199. And if you plug in the values in the third equation for x, y, and z, the cost of pizza would come to 220. That way you can verify the solution. And here is an easy one. So I'm going to pick the first two equations. So our goal is to eliminate. It seems like y is easier to eliminate between the first two equations. I simply have to add. So the y's would go away, 2x plus 2z would equal to negative 7 plus 3, which is negative 4. I have a 2 in common, so if I divide that 2 out, I would get x plus z equals negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. Keep in mind, we have to eliminate the same variable with two other equations. I am going to pick equation 1 and 3. You can pick equations 2 and 3. It is a matter of choice. So x minus y plus z would equal negative 7. x plus y minus z would equal 1. And I'm simply going to add. So those two would get cancelled. Those two would get cancelled. x plus x is 2x. Negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. Divide by 2, we have x to be negative 3. I'm going to take that value of negative 3 and plug it in that equation. So that would be the substitution step. 
So negative 3 plus z would equal negative 2. The value of z would then be negative 2 plus 3. So that would equal positive 1. So now we have the value of x, the value of z. We have to plug it in the first equation or the second or the third to find the value of x. I'm going to go with the last one. Um, so plug in x is equal to negative 3 and z is equal to 1 and x plus y minus z equals 1, which is the third equation. So we have negative 3 plus y minus 1 equals 1, y minus 4 would equal 1, and y would equal 1 plus 4, so y is equal to positive 5. So the solution here is x is equal to negative 3, y is equal to 5, and z equals 1. So the idea here is to pick a variable to eliminate and using two equations and that is going to give you an equation in two variables. Then you pick the same variable to eliminate. Using two equations that you did not choose in part A, that would give you an equation in two variables. Use that to solve for the two variables. back substitute in one of the three equations and you would end up getting the solution.